Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar on creating effects and titles using New Blue Effects' Titler Pro. One of the real challenges we have is trying to have text look as good as our images do, and this piece of software is something you need to consider adding to your effects toolkit. By the way, we have a new subscription service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes all of our Final Cut Pro 10 training and our brand new Adobe CS6 training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any of our live webinars for free. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online training. To learn more, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Creating good-looking animated 3D titles in Final Cut Pro 7 is not for the faint of heart, <laughs> unless you're using the new Titler Pro from New Blue FX. This webinar, which is sponsored by New Blue FX, gives you an orientation to how to create eye-catching animated titles quickly and easily. So let me show you how to create new Titler Pro titles, modify and style the text, apply effects from the library, apply and modify animation in 2D and 3D, preview animated titles, apply a new blue effect, and integrate the finished title with Final Cut Pro 7. Remember I said that New Blue Effects started as an effects company. One of the things that I discovered about them when I first talked to them about a year and a half ago was the kind of effects that they create. For instance, this first effect is a liquify effect. Then there's Shredder. A zoom effect. and a 3D wiggle. And that was the genesis around which Titler Pro was born. It combines the power of the effects modules, which New Blue has already created, with titling, which Final Cut has always needed. For instance, take a look here. These are just three simple titles. A stationary title. A uh, title with animation. I love that text. How can you? <laughs> All right, just me. And a moving 3D title. Now we're going to create all three of these titles now because I want to show you how the interface works. And if I can make stuff like this look good, then you can too. For instance, watch this. insert dramatic music here. What we've got is we've got text with these little glows inside them. We've got a red outline. It's flying in. And we've got this searchlight animation going in the background. Well, let's see how that all works. Let's go up to the video tab. Let's go down to the generator menu. We could go up to Titler Pro. Let's just go down to Titler Pro. I'm going to change this to be five seconds, change the duration up here. And this time I could drag it down or just do a straight edit. Double click it, load it up into the viewer, click the controls tab, click setup. Okay, double click the text, the search. By the way, double click the text to select all of it. We've got the ability to see all the typefaces that are inside our system. So if there's something specifically search-like that you want to see, let's try stencil. Okay, I'll do that. Decrease this, increase this, search, and now select the box when it turns into a plus sign move it up a bit there we go so we've got the search uh, let's see how we're going to style this oh let's go back to attributes style let's add a face there we go select the text i've got a 3d face let's add a texture double click it and i'm going to add what i'm going to do i'm going to add a flare Let's do flare. Notice several things about this. One, the Titler Pro works with JPEGs or PNGs. If you need the alpha channel, the transparency information, use a PNG. But you can also use JPEGs. This is a JPEG. Click open. 
What it's just done is it's applied that flare to each individual letter. Or if I say stretch that across the paragraph, now the flare is applied to everything in the paragraph. I want it applied to each individual letter. Except when I look at this, it gets really hard to read the letters because the flare has got black around the edges. I can't see the full shape of the character. So I'm going to add a 2D outline. I'm going to increase the thickness of the outline right around there. And then I'm going to blur it just a little bit. There we go. The search. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Effects and Titler Pro from New Blue Effects. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar number 70.